Uh, good morning YouTube. It's uh, Sunday morning, uh, Father's Day. Uh, so today's video is going to be on this rear axle housing. Um, so I got the welder, got him to get everything done. and Anyway, I'm going to tell you the story behind this and why it's, it's uh, taken so long. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I had a bunch of medical problems so and over the winter and I broke a couple of ribs so I really couldn't do a whole lot. Money's Money was pretty tight being on disability um, and I've been selling stuff to fund this trike thing and I just haven't been able to do it because I haven't been able to get out and about and and then now this pandemic thing but so I wanted to find a local welder, so I got on some community forums and stuff and, and put some feelers out to find out who was a, who was a good welder, welder and who was uh, capable of doing this, this welding job on a bicycle frame, trike frame. Um, just needed somebody with some experience, so this one name kept popping up. So I went ahead and contacted him, went over to his shop, and he had a really nice shop, had all the... All the equipment in there and everything so we talked a little bit I uh, I made a, a, a blueprint that showed everything all the sizes of pipe where it had to be lengths uh, I mean everything I did a really nice blueprint did a side view that even showed what angle up the center tube that everything had to come off of and and uh, anyway, I told them, I says, well, I have welders at home. I just don't have the right types of welders to do this kind of work. And I, I'm going to warp it. So I just need a professional job, professional welds on it. And so he told me, no problem, no problem. So I said, okay. So I left the, uh, left the axle housing with him. And then he ended up getting sick. I figured I'd get it back in a week, but he got sick. And anyway, a few weeks went by. And he called me and said it was all ready. Well, I was having problems with my prosthetic. I had my son drive, drive me over there. And my son picked it up, put it in the back of his rig. And I paid him and, and we went home. So then I got home, got it up on my workbench here. And the axle would not turn. It was warped so bad. I mean, you couldn't even turn. I had two hands on it and I couldn't even get it to budge. So anyway, it took me about a half an hour, but I ended up uh, getting a, a wooden dowel and I just kept beating on it with a hammer on, on that shaft until I got it worked through and got out and I, I just couldn't believe how badly it was warped. So I contacted the welder, told him it was all, all warped and everything, and he said, well, just bring it back. I'll, I'll straighten it. So... Anyway, for him to weld everything upright, well, let's just look at this axle here real quick. So this is what it looks like, and you really can't see the back. I'll turn it around in a couple of minutes. But uh, anyway, so he wanted the brake, and he wanted my disc, disc brake adapter that goes on the shaft there, and the disc brake mounts to it. And... Uh, and he wanted the disc. That way he could get this thing all lined up. So I says, all right. I says, just be damn careful. All this stuff's brand new. It's finished. Just please be really careful. Don't ding it. Don't do anything. But anyway, <laughs> that's another story. He ended up uh, sticking everything on here and welding it while the brake was on, the adapter was on, and the disc was on. So... I mean, you can still see where this is This is burnt. I haven't even started working on this yet. Um, I had a hard time finding this adapter, the 17 millimeter. I, I could find 15s all day long. 17 was hard to get. But anyway, I found this one, and I emailed the guy, and I says, Man, you know, for 25 bucks, that thing better be perfect. And, and when I got it, it was. But then the... Uh, then the welder got a hold of it, and you can see the big dings in it, burn marks on it. So the disc I ended up throwing out because he heated it up so much he warped it. So that's why my 
my discs that I'm working on don't match because I had to buy another one and I couldn't find an exact match for it. The other, and then this is all, I, I compounded the breakout, and anyway, I got, I got most of the dings and scratches out of it, it'll, it'll just have to do, but, uh, anyway, so I brought this, uh, axle housing back to the welder, and, uh, he's, he had it for a couple of weeks, and then he called me, and he says, oh, I had to cut a couple of bars loose, and, and uh and uh, anyway i got it all straight for you so i decided well i'm just i made a video bef before i had the work done and then i did some footage of after i got it back the first time so i decided i would just go pick it up bring it home and then just make some footage of it and just document everything but it's it's very painful long and i'm just not in a good mood when i when I do it so I'm not even going to put those out I'm just going to save them but uh, but anyway I got it back and you could just take the shaft and you could just barely turn it I mean it was so, and he says well you put some new bearings in there it'll it'll turn and I just go man it, I'll burn up those bearings before I even get to the end of my driveway so it, it needs to be fixed and fixed right but uh, anyway he cut the cut the bars loose and when he cut them loose he oh just pretty much destroyed this thing <laughs> but anyway i i ended up in the, in the third time he wanted the uh he wanted this front uh the front half of the frame cuz he wanted to bolt it all together but after he pretty much destroyed everything he has touched i told him there was no way in hell he was going to get the front half he was just going to have to to block in between these and anyway so i pick up the axle for the third time and and yes the shaft turns we're good to go but the thing is i stuck it on the bench out in my shop and i bolted it down put some four by fours under bolted everything down shim Put a level across the top here, got it all leveled on my bench, and got it all where it was level, back so the shaft was level to the bench, and anyway, this thing right here shot up in the air. This is level, but this shot up in the air, so I ended up having to put it at the edge of my bench, putting the clamp on it, and I just kept working it and checking the shaft. I, I got it and bolted it to the to the front and I can make it work. Then my next problem was is I, I wanted to check to make sure this was all done and that was oh man I just had all kinds of stuff built in my shop frameworks and plumb bobs coming down and so I could find out if these these holes were were square to the shaft. And this bar right here, it's uh, it's just perfect off of this shaft. But this bar in the back here was twisted. This hole right here was back farther. So I needed to suck it up. And anyway, I made some special clamps. I had framework bolted to the wall, to the floor of my shop. And anyway, I was able to pull it over. So, so I was able to get that square. But look at i don't know if you can see all this very well but i mean just look at the i spent so much time on this getting all the dings and everything out of it and i mean it is just just look at this where he got the grinder right there i mean that is a really deep deep cut but anyway i'm going to do the best i can with it but anyway the parts that uh, you won't see, I've got fixed and squared. Oh, I should turn this around. Let me sh let me show you something here. Okay. So so the back bumper on this thing. Let me see if I can get this thing adjusted just right. You see the back bumper back here. And then you go along this tube, which we know is square, and you go up. And 
you go over to the other side, you can see that this side over here is, I mean, like over an eighth of an inch lower than this side. I mean, it's just ridiculous how, how crooked it is. But anyway, so let's turn it around so you can see. So, so the other story of this is when I, the first time I picked this thing up, he charged me $100 to, to weld this on there and just tack this bracket on right here for the disc brake. <clears throat> so when I went to pick it up the third time, and I just picked it up and brought it back, I didn't even look at it. I mean, the shaft turned, okay, I'm out of here. I'll just deal with it. Um, so then he told me I owed him another $125. So it was $225. So, he got the bearings where they turn. Well, they turned when he got it. I mean, that was not an issue. I mean, so he fixed his mistake and wanted to charge me an extra $125 for it. But then when I got it back, now I got all the damage. And I mean, it, and the well, oh my God. But anyway, so it was what I, I was paying him for was this back bumper. So, I took some measurements and tried to get things square. So, this bar that comes down is tweaked that away. This bar, tweaked that away. So, the distance from the end, the end on both sides, yeah, it's not even. The trailer hitch, can, can you see that straight down on it? It's crooked. Look at this. I mean, the thing is a banana. <laughs> so anyway, I called him and just told him, I says, man, you've just destroyed this thing. And uh, anyway, he says, well, bring it back. I, I'll fix that, that back bumper and straighten it. Well, after three times of having it and all the damage, I told him there was no freaking way I was going to bring this back to him. So anyway, I've been the last six weeks seeing if I could find a, a new rear end and uh, find me another welder and do a little bit better research and uh, see if I could find somebody that can actually do it. But uh, I ended up going on Craigslist and putting an ad across on, on several different states. And I finally had a guy in Pennsylvania says, oh, I, I got a axle thing I, he goes 150 dollars plus shipping and he sent me a picture of it. it was just a rusted mess but uh anyway i i'm sorry i'm just kind of bouncing around on this but i've been so upset about this rear axle i mean you you can see the type of work that i'm i'm trying to accomplish here you i my hands have been over this Oh my God, I, I mean, just, I have so many hours into that. There is not even a little tiny ripple or anything anywhere on that frame with all the work that I did on it. And that's what I want to do this. I'm, I'm trying to build a good project, you know. It just, there's, I, oh man, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so frustrated, but I, I just don't know what to deal deal with here so i i guess i'm stuck with this for right now so i'm going to go ahead i'm not going to spend a lot of time on it but i'm going to try to make it acceptable but i mean this is something that nobody else has on their trike you know the way i've done this and so everybody's eyes are going to go right to this back bumper and it is just crooked as hell <laughs> it just and I can't straighten it, or I'm going to throw these tubes off, and then I'll have the same problem again. You know, the shaft, but anyway. But we are just going to deal with it and put it together, and then once I get everything assembled, I'll probably end up finding one of these. And then there will be no rush, I can take my time, I can make sure i got a good welder that actually... I want to see what their work is, see, make sure that they got the proper equipment to do this, and and we'll do it again, because I am going to change it out. There's just, 
this is so hard for me to to even fathom putting this thing on on the trike. I mean, it just. Uh, but anyway. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. I need to start assembling because um, I still got parts I got to figure out you know with the fenders and and the box in the back how all that's gonna lay out for all the electronics and batteries and and I'm still kind of scratching my head on the fenders but but it'll come together um, once I get this thing all primered and and start bolting stuff up it things will go a lot quicker and hopefully that'll change my attitude I mean I I haven't even wanted to work on it just knowing that if this is what I got to work with, I, I am just not happy. This is not what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> so, but anyway, we will catch you on the next one. And hopefully I'll be in a little bit better mood. And I'll, I will actually be talking and not so, not so frustrated about everything. But, uh, you know, when you got this many hours into something, you start you start pouring yourself into it and and this is a reflection of who I am you know I'm doing these customized things that that are my personality and and for the area that I lived in yet live in you know nobody's got a jacked up math monster trike like I'm building so it, it'll I don't I don't know but anyway I'm very frustrated this is not me. The only thing I needed help with it to have somebody else do, and it just got messed up. It just got messed up. This is why I like to try to do everything myself, but this was one thing I knew I couldn't do without warping it, and I mean, I should have just done it myself anyway if I knew that this was the outcome. But anyway, we will catch you on the next one. I'll be in a little happier mood, but I had to get this video out where I could start working on it. So we will catch you on the next one. Bye.